Today, we're going to make a backlit number board for a race car using a sketching pad from Amazon. The link is in the description. The main modification required is removing the power button and the associated circuitry so we can instead power it directly from our race car. First, we need to remove the printed scales along the edges. A maroon Scotch-Brite pad works great for this. We'll now remove the top plate from the base panel by using a heat gun and thin plastic shims to help separate it from the double-sided adhesive. Credit cards or similar can work in place of these fancy blue shims. It doesn't need to be burning hot, but if it's too cold, the adhesive won't release. Once the top plate has been removed from the base panel, use a bit more heat and shims to remove the adhesive holding the control board and LED strip. Next, we need to remove the control circuit board from the LED strip using a soldering iron. We'll then add two simple power leads to the LED light strip itself. Note the positive marking on the LED strip. Now it's time to put it back into the base panel. Be sure to route the wires into the existing gaps in the base panel and out through the holes in the side of it so they don't get pinched. After the LED strip is back in, the top plate needs to be reattached. We use an electronic grade silicone sealant for this. Run it along all the edges and apply extra to the wires to pot them in place. Run a finger along the bead to smooth it out, and then place the top panel back onto the base. It should seat nicely. Press it down along every edge, and then wipe off any excess sealant with a rag. Now add some good quality tape, such as racer tape or gorilla tape along the edges. Next, add some black vinyl to mask out the negative areas for your number, keeping the actual numbers uncovered to allow the light to pass through. Once your numbers are done, add a layer of clear vinyl on top of everything to keep your black masking layer from peeling off. Now, simply wire it to 5 volts DC and you're done. We suggest adding a simple 2 amp automotive fuse to your power supply circuitry just in case. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. We look forward to seeing you all on track very soon.